In this video, we'll be going over find mode and binary search tree. So given the root of a binary search tree of duplicates, return of the most, the most frequently occurred elements or the no values. If the tree has more than one mode, we can return them in any order. And then this will give the rules of the binary search tree. So I'm going to, for example, we're given this binary search tree and then the mode is two because two occur twice and one only occur once. So the mode is two. So we just return two. And then the follow up, we get, could you do that without using any extra space? So assume that an implicit stack space incurred due to recursion does not count. And also the array that to store the modes does not count as extra space. So let's go over the dot process. So let's first go over a straightforward approach. We are concerned with each node value and also their associated frequency. This means we can create a hash map where we map the node value to its frequency. Then we can iterate through the map to find the mode. Now this approach will cost us O of n time complexity for the map. Now let's implement a approach that does not use any extra space, although the stack space does not count too. So we will implement an approach that does not use extra space. We will be using the characteristics of an in-order traversal. So when we perform an in-order traversal, the no values will be visited in ascending order. This means the no values will be traversed in sorted order. When the no values are in sorted order, all of the duplicates values will be grouped together. This will allow us to easily get the frequency of each node value. Now let's go over the pseudocode. So we'll first create a custom class mode helper to be passed into our recursive calls. And then there will be three fields. The first one is the mode, the current mode. And then we have our num is the current no value. Initially no to represent we do not have a number currently. And it also counts the frequency of num initially zero. Now I want to create a list modes to keep track of all the modes all of the modes we find. We want to create a list first because we do not exactly know how many modes are inside the tree. So we can just convert the list to an array later. And then want to implement our recursive in order traversal. And then what parameters do we need? We first need the node, the current node we are visiting. And then we need the modes, list of all modes, and also our count. And no, not our counts. The mode helper is our custom class. So our custom class to keep track of mode, num, and count. And then what's the base case? If node is no, there are no values here. We can just return from the recursive call. And then in each of the recursive call, we are first, we're implementing a in order traversal. So we want to traverse to the left subtree first. Recursively traverse to left subtree, node, node that left. Now we want to visit the current node, but before that we want to, if helper, we can just call this helper instead of mode helper to make it easier. So the helper dot number is no, or helper dot number is not equal to the current node value. It's not equal to the current node value. We want to update the current number to the, uh, we want to update the number inside helper to our current value. So I'm going to set helper.num to node.val. We want to reset 
helper dot counts to zero. Oh. And then we can increment helper dot counts. Increment the frequency of the current elements. Now we want to check if this is a new mode or not. So if helper dot count is greater than than helper dot mode, this means this will this current element is a new mode. We have to remove all the previously found modes. So I'm going to clear modes and we can add helper dot num to modes. Else if helper dot counts is equal to helper dot mode. If it's equal to helper dot mode, we um so the current node value is also a mode. So we can just add helper dot num to modes. Then want to update helper dot mode if oh we can update it here. Update helper dot mode to helper dot count. After that, we can recursively traverse to the right subtree. Know that right? After we finish our visit, we will return an array representation of our modes. Now let's go over the time and space complexity. For the time complexity is O of n, where n is the length or, or is the number of nodes. We visit each node once. This is because of our in order traversal. And our space complexity is, is of one. So we're not accounting for recursive call stack memory and not accounting for the resulting modes or the structure or the data structures to store the modes. Now let's go over the code. We'll first create our private class to keep track of our mode helper to keep track of the current mode initially zero and also the current number initially no and then also or the frequency of the current number initially zero and then we're going to initialize our helper actually we don't need to initialize here initialize later we we'll first create our list to keep track of all modes And then we can perform an in-order traversal for our roots, the modes, and also a new mode helper. Then we want to return an array representation of modes. So that stream that map to int dot to array. Now I want to uh, implement our in order traversal, keeping track of our current node, list of all modes, and also our helper. So if node is go to no, the no value here, we can just return from the recursive call. We'll first traverse to the left subtree first because it's in order traversal. Then I want to visit the current node and then want to traverse to the right subtree. Then let's implement our visit method. So if helper.num is go to no, or helper.num is not equal to the current node value, we want to update the number to the current node value. And then we want to reset our counts to zero. And then we want to increment our count. Now we want to check if the current frequency is a new mode or not. So if helper.count is greater than helper.mode, so the current elements is a new mode. So we have to remove all the previously found modes. So I want to say modes.clear and then modes.add helper.num. And I want to update the mode to the current frequency. 
else if helper.counts is equal to the helper.mode, this means the current element is a new mode. So we can add modes.add the current number. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below.